I call this or uh, meeting Miss Stonewall Community School Corporation, regular meeting of the Board of School Trustees to order. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, will you use the prayer? Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity tonight, Lord, to make decisions about the welfare and the education of our children. We'd ask that you would uh, bless our efforts tonight, give us wisdom, give us guidance, give us good direction. Lord, also be with um, um, our students, teachers, and staff as they, we went with an e-learning day today, and we start a fresh day tomorrow. We just ask you, again, offer us your protection. Also, Lord, for our servicemen and women who continue to put themselves in harm's way, Lord, to keep us safe and watch over and protect us. And, um, they stand on that wall and, and keep us safe. And we'd ask you to bring them home to their families and friends and watch over, guide, and protect them as well, Lord. We ask all this in your most precious name. Amen. <laughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. You're welcome back. You're most welcome, sir. Good to be back. Well, almost good. Yeah. Okay. Item 31 minutes of including the Finance Committee meetings and if the third uh, did, uh, what I want to know is, did you, since I wasn't here to make a motion on the minutes, did we even go any farther? It was really scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Mr. President, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes, including the Finance Committee meeting minutes as presented. Okay. I need a second. I'll second. Any questions? Comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> we don't have any, right? So, that's the motion carries. Item 32, non-resident transfer of student policy, Mr. McKenzie. Yes, we have provided you with this, uh, a copy of this proposal for um, an update to the non-resident transfer student policy. Uh, we've had some discussion about that in the past. And so uh, we would recommend your approval as a board as presented, and we'd be happy to address any questions or comments, concerns you might have. What's the board's pleasure? Mr. President, <clears throat> I really like this new policy and I'm going to make a motion that we accept this non-resident transfer of students policy. Need a second. I'll second. Okay. okay, got a motion made on the non-resident transfer of student policy made by Mike, Mr. Crouch, Mike Crouch, <clears throat> and something by Jared Richards. Are there any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. 33, permission to transfer $65,000 from the education fund to the rainy day fund. Get that right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Easily. okay. I need a, what's your board's pleasure? Well, uh, you, you want to yeah, go ahead. refer go ahead. to Jill oh, here and let her uh, make that recommendation. Go ahead, Mrs. Townsend. Yes, thank you. Uh, per Indiana statute, we are able to transfer 10% of unused and unencumbered funds from the previous school year. That would allow us up to, we had a million uh, 51,000 left over in 2020. I'm asking uh, permission tonight to transfer 650,000 of that from the education to the rainy day fund. That's a word Mr. President. I'll make a motion to approve the transfer of 650000 from education fund to the rainy day fund as presented. Second. Crouch. Okay. Uh, motion, we have a motion by, made by Conrad Arroyo, said by Mike Crouch, that we uh, transfer $650,000 from the education fund to the rainy day fund. Any questions or comments? I like rainy day funds. <laughs> Job, yeah. Just not rainy days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Item 34, Mr. McKenzie. Yes, we have three items for the board's consideration this evening. One's a retirement and two are uh, new hires. Uh, first of all, uh, Teresa McKenzie uh, is um, retiring as a uh, coordinator of special education for Mrs. Cinewall Community Schools effective at the end of the current school year and her current contract. Uh, 
Teresa has had 31 years of service in Mississippi Community Schools. Um, I, uh, I'll be careful how I say this. Uh, I'll say this, though, in my perspective, she was one of the best, I won't say the best, one of the best special education educators in my time here at Mrs. Sinawal. Uh, she uh, was very conscientious, highly organized, um, really cared about uh, the welfare of her students. Uh, last couple of years, she's been out of the classroom. Uh, I know she missed the classroom uh, to service in that uh, uh, coordinator's position, and I thought she did a very solid job in that. But uh, uh, she, I know she's looking forward to it, but as her letter indicated, she'll give you her best effort until her last day. Yes, and so uh, uh, we thank her for her service. Uh, Jason Shenholt to be hired as a second shift full-time custodian at Westview Elementary, effective February 2nd. <clears throat> and Garrick Ty to be hired as a second shift full-time custodian at RJ Basket, effective February 15th. So we would recommend approval of these personnel <coughs> items as presented to the board this evening. And we take any questions or comments. What's the board's pleasure? Mr. President, Mr. Crown. I make a motion to approve the personnel report as presented. Give a second. I'll second. Are there any, are there any questions or comments? Well, I guess just on Teresa, it's, she's going to have a tougher job when she retires because she's going to have to keep you in check. So you yeah, said that's much gonna... money happens. Yeah. 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 My, my, my well, parents had a sign that my mother stitched. Uh, she used to like to do that sort of thing. And it was framed and everything on the wall and it said uh, retirement uh, um, twice, much twice as. Uh, twice as much husband, half as much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we'll be okay though. Yeah, we're, yeah we've been blessed. Well, Amen. You know, she's a quitter. We might as well get rid of now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that too loud. She'll take you up. On <laughs> well, you know. Okay, we got a motion made by Mike Krause and seconded by Conrad uh, Herrera. And uh, any more questions or comments? Okay, hearing that, all those in favor say aye. Hi. Hi. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Uh, facilities report, Mr. McKenzie. Uh, I, I I talked to Ted a little bit uh, a little bit ago. I, I don't think we have anything else other than the maintenance summer maintenance project plan that uh, we put out to you uh, a week or so ago, and uh, you're welcome to make any comments or ask any questions or express any concerns that you might have. Just want to compliment again, Tad, Ted, and the rest of the staff on taking care of the parking lots and you know, I mean, just how nice everything looks. It seems almost as soon as it hits, you guys are out there, you know, getting on us. And I know that saves us. We were going private contractors or anything like that it saves us, you know, a ton of money. So uh, I really appreciate the one thing I like effort facilities wise. I thought maybe if we could get snow the snow machines in there because we have such activity on RJ Basket. We just make that yeah, that's right. So, wasn't yeah. that packed? I went down there. It's packed every more people it, was, school. it was two cars deep. Yeah. Uh, people. But, yeah. They love that hill. Somebody was out there yesterday. Was it you? Last night, pushing snow last night. It's nice because if they got on that car, or maybe Saturday night, because if they got on that snow pack, man, it would have been a mess to get up there. But, oh, yeah. Was that you? We try, to, we try to get that the first thing. Yeah. Because we know everybody's going to be coming. You know, going right there. That first mm -hmm. night, first time. Yeah, we just get a snow machine. We still, you know, we just have a ski lift. We just have a We have yeah. some extra. It's hard to get. Right now, COVID's hard to get anybody. You know, and I'm about the PTO earlier. You can't have fundraisers. You can't do anything to make any money. So it's not, it's not usual. No, nice job. Yeah, yeah, a job. And yeah. your crew and everybody else. Anybody else have any comments? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let, oh, here comes the board. 36. Item 36. Legislative, legislative update. Legislative update. Chris. Okay, so in your, uh, again, kudos to Pam uh, for putting the, uh, there are 178 bills revolving around education um, that's on the ISBA tracking list. I was hoping for much less, but there are quite a few on there. Some of them probably won't see the light of day because of what they involve, but um, 
I'll be attending. Um, uh, we have a virtual state house day um, in uh, once that's next week. Uh, I can send that if anybody wants to do it, it's in the morning, um, but it, it'll be a, a Zoom meeting. Um, tab, Leslie, they said you guys are welcome to attend. Can you send me the link? Yeah, I'll send it to you. Um, you can do it at home or does it work? Yeah, I'm going to do it at work. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to uh, flex my day so I can I can do it and, and listen in on it. But I'd appreciate if you guys want to sit in. I'd appreciate your insight on it because they have. They'll cover a lot of different things, and I probably won't be able to keep up with a lot of it. But um, highlight a couple bills for you that, um, well, uh, maybe just to uh, take a step back and um, was pleased with the governor's recommendation on funding. I was really worried about what would happen um, COVID-wise, and there was not a cut. So uh, that's that was nice to see because I was really worried that, you know, there would be some cuts to education and we'd have to make some um, other changes. So um, that was nice to see. Um, there's a cynical side of me that says the reason he didn't cut that is because they want to be able to increase the amount of vouchers that are available for funding. But um, you can see that in some of the bills that uh, are presented. Also, um, um, I was pleased to see that they are, uh, supporting the bill for um, virtual uh, learning so that um, funding for that isn't cut for those students that are that are virtual. That's always been a big topic of discussion. Of course, that then opens up a lot more uh, competition for public education um, through private schools as well. So uh, just one bill probably to highlight um, because I've got several here that we could talk about, but um, House Bill uh, 1002, civil immunity related to COVID. Um, and this um, helps um, uh, clarifies the definitions for the immunity provisions for schools and stuff from, mm -hmm. um, from things that happen with COVID that are beyond our control. And then Senate Bill 2, funding for virtual instructions for public schools, uh, funding for virtual instructions to public schools. This bill defines virtual instruction for the purpose of determining the school corporation's basic tuition support for, for 2021 and the spring counting. So we'll be able to count those kids, um, which we weren't able to, um, able to do before. Um, there's a whole bunch of them there. If there's something that tickles your fancy on the list, that's on our Google drive for the board that you want to look at. Um, I did send an email today. Uh, today to um, our House Representative Ann Vermillion, there were two bills that they asked us to talk to our legislators about. One is the first day of school. I don't, I don't know why they're saying that because this bill comes up every year. Oh, it's, it yeah, comes not up, yeah, yeah, not you don't start school till after Labor Day, and it comes up every year, and it either it doesn't get a hearing or it's not heard. But they wanted us to come out, um, come out of the hole and, and oppose that. So. I sent something on our behalf and said, really, the reason is it means that's a local decision. If we want to go to year-round school, if we want that for our patrons, then that needs to be a local decision, not the state. Um, and then uh, the other one was uh, school choice matters. And this is this is uh, 1005. And this really is expansion of vouchers. And um, so on, on one hand of, of receiving dollars this expansion of vouchers takes money away from um, public schools and it also establishes a weird thing because of, of an educational savings account for students with disabilities um, and so it doesn't really track with educational expenses according to our our isba group so i sent on our behalf a, an email to ann opposing that recognizing that she won't get a chance I, I think she'll get to talk to people but um, I mean, until it comes for vote, there's really nothing. She's not listed as a sponsor or as a, she's not on the committees for those that affect it. Um, so that's all I have. I'll answer any questions that you uh, uh, might have. Like I said, I, my, my big worry, I'm sure all of us was, was what was going to happen with funding. Now um, it'll be just focusing on keeping that way. And I'll, um, that'll be in the, um, uh, that'll be in the budget bill 
And so I'll continue to watch that budget bill. So each time they get a, a ways and means meeting, they will look at either making changes or altering that. So right after that meeting's over, they post in their notes what they recommended to change. I, I can't say enough about ISBA and their, uh, they have just been tremendous about staying on top of stuff and letting us know on a local level. They send me a report. I'd happy to share it with you guys if you want to see it. It's, it's pretty lengthy, but it's really thorough, really thorough. Well, I said when we reorganized this year, there's nobody that does that job any better than you. I mean, you can answer just by any question. And Chris had talked to me about where I thought he could help the board the most, and I said, I've never had anybody do it to the job. And I've had that job, and I tell you, don't even come close to it. So <laughs> I really appreciate it. You got questions, that's a place to go. But he stayed right on top of the board. Appreciate it. Well, you're, you're welcome. And I enjoy it. Um, but most importantly, I think with it is, uh, is that as long as, as we continue to voice what it is we have to, that we want, um, to our representatives and people there, I think, I think we'll do well because we're, our county's well-respected on an educational, um, level. And I think that has a lot to do with the two people across the aisle over here that, um, make us, uh, make us look really good for what we do education too. So. You know, another feature I like that the ISBA has added, I'm sure you noticed it uh, last summer, was the articles across yeah. the state. Yeah. Uh, on that Terry Post. Significant yeah. issues yeah. that are going <clears throat> on in education <clears throat> across the state and the context of, get the context from the article of what the issues are. Uh, I don't read them all, uh -huh. uh, but I probably read a few every week. Uh, I, it's my particular yeah, interest yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah. Have you get those yet? Yeah. It becomes an email, right? You're talking about yeah, that? yeah. yeah. An email. You, you get you'll get an email from Terry that does those, and then Brooke Orm, I think, is the person that sends out the the a lot of the legislative sure stuff. Address. Address Normally, it takes a while to do. You should be getting an. Did you get an ISBA magazine yet? They'll add you to that list too, and it has a lot of good stuff yeah, in there. Uh, there's a, usually, there's a the school to go to if you want. To. Did you go, Conrad, to the new board member school? And no. Stuff? If you're interested, that's that was online. Right. When yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. Did you attend some of the online? The webinar. Yeah. 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 And they will. Uh, they still probably have that. For when we have our annual meeting, um, when they do that, they'll do that virtually. They'll they'll have a new member. They usually have that a new member orientation at that too to just kind of. Give it to you through a fire hose about what you know what all you what all's involved okay chris is there anything else anybody no, any sir. that's, nice that's it i'm taking enough of everybody's time just like spike said though i i appreciate your, your oh thanks your commitment your dedication thanks. that comes out well you're i, I your, mean you're on it too so your your groups you know so we email yeah, back and forth they, they do a good job too. they do I, the isba and superintendent association do a lot of them. right they put those clinics on now together. oh yeah it makes it nice. Yeah, that's why. I was going to say that Chris contacted me. He said, the guy says, that's <laughs> it's just a, it's nice to have someone in that, in that corner doing the fucking board out for us. Okay, uh, let's move to 3737 corporate sponsored donation grants. Mr. McKenzie. Yeah, we have the following donations uh, for the board's consideration this evening from Larry, from the Larry Engel family in the memory of Florence Trahune to the RJ Basket Faculty Fund in the amount of $50. From the Autodesk Foundation to the High School Prop Fund in the amount of $500. From the Mrs. Cinewall class of 1972 for Westview students in need of supplies in the amount of $1,000. And from a Meyer gift card donation <coughs> to be used for COVID supplies in the amount of $500. So we would recommend approval of all these donations as presented this evening. What supports your question, Mr. President? I move that we accept these donations and have a Got a motion made by Derek Richard by second? Second. Second um, by Mike Krause. Okay. Corporate sponsored donation. Uh, motion was made by Derek Richard, second by Mike Krause. Are there any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 38, Ms. Townsend, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a plate. Claims tonight totaling one million one hundred ninety six thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars and fifty two cents for your approval, please. Okay. 
Mr. President? Chris? I'll make a motion to approve the claims as presented. Second, I'll second. Jerry? Okay, got a motion made to pay the claims by Chris Cunningham, second by Jerry Richards. Are there any questions or comments? Give me a second, two by two. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else? Well, we go too fast. <laughs> you know, they, okay. Uh, 39 corresponds to other business, Mr. Yes, just a reminder, we have an executive session uh, following this meeting. Um, uh, we were out of school last week on Tuesday, January 26th due to weather, and we used our last makeup day opportunity. And so we will have school on President's Day, February 15th. Uh, so school will be uh, in person for those that do in-person school on February 15th. To make up for January 26th. Um, always, we'll always plan to put the uh, weekly, bi weekly, I guess, uh, COVID uh, data information at your seat. So feel free to ask any questions or contact me if you uh, think about it and have questions later. Feel free to contact us and we'll do our best to get an answer to your question. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Quaterher and his team. Uh, for their leadership for uh, putting on the Martin Luther King Jr. and Civil Rights uh, Program on flat, on the Friday of January 22nd. Uh, pre always appreciate their efforts in that regard. And I know, Mr. Gaskin, you attended that in person. Conrad. And Conrad, any thoughts or perceptions about that program? Uh, they, it's an amazing, the, the, the talent we have down there. And, it went really smooth. Uh, there was some blitz. I think it was one thing with the one of the first, uh, it was kind of a film that we did. But there was two, the one gal, I can't remember her name right now. Yes. Man, she just tore it up. She did a nice job. I wish I could remember yeah. that name now. The two speakers? Yes. Yeah. It is, it is, yeah, she was it's quite a good speaker that they've ever had down there. And if we, things get better, I'd like to have her come and kind of talk and do this in front of her. Because she was, it's, it's yeah. too bad it wasn't well attended. But of course, everybody's afraid to get out and go anywhere. But the opportunity permits itself. Maybe we can have them come. Both of them. They're not very long. It wouldn't take up much time. But you mean come to a board meeting? Yes, I think it can be. We should be on video and stuff. You know. Uh -huh. So that would that, I mean, be a nice Conrad. Like, what's your thoughts? Do you think they were a lot better composed speaking publicly than I would have been? Uh, they did a really good job. Our choir and our band did a fantastic job. I, I want to, Mr. Barris, said, you know, sure glad to have you back. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm glad to be there, but it was really bad. It was, it was, it was amazing. The Conrad and I made our way to the uh, cafeteria to see the, the new setup there, and that's really, really nice. It's, uh, and it, they were happy with it. They, All matching stuff. Yeah. So that's, uh, we did, they offered us something to eat, but we just sat there and, and talked just basically. But they, they were busy. The kids liked it. So, yeah. yeah so well, I'm was, glad you guys were able to be there yeah. and observe that. Yeah, so it was a nice program. I said, just I think everybody's just scared to be out anymore. Too many places and stuff. So I think, but it was well received. Yeah. Good. You can watch it, right? Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should be on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Anything? I don't have anything else, Mrs. Winter. I do not. Uh, administrators, anything for the for the meeting and for the board? Okay. You guys wake up. And, um, we went. I did go to the ball game the other night. Well, that was a lot of fun. Mr. Quarter going down. I just said it feels it feels weird. Well, he was there, right? Nice. It just felt weird to have be able to watch a game on TV and plus, uh, you know, it, it was well. It was a fun game to be at, and I think everybody's excited. The kids are a little excited. Yeah, yeah. The, the people yeah. are so glad to get in to see that. Oh, it was man. nice. It was nice, and it, like I said, there's not a. There's just not a replacement for being there. And, you know, I don't think you realize how much you miss it until you're there. And then you go, man, I really miss this. <laughs> it's really nice to see, so, see some of the old faces. So, anyone else, Jared or anybody? Anybody from the, I guess not. So, there, motion on the select recess. Uh, uh, item 40, adjournment. So moved. Carrera. Okay. Give a second. Second. Okay, you got a motion by. That's Mike Krause. I think my Mike Krause to adjourn. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5 0.
Thank you very much. Uh, and the sense of invite for not here for the community. We'll go ahead and close. We'll take a five minute break or two. Yeah, so round seven. Okay. Yeah.